So we need to address the elephant in the room. Your T-shirt is dominating the social media conversation right now amongst our viewers. What motivated you to wear it? It was clean. Like, I think number one, the fact that it was clean was mm -hmm. a good start. The other part is I really like the shirt. I think it's funny. It's like it's just like the Cleveland Indian shirt, like exactly the same as the mm -hmm. Cleveland Indian shirt, with just one small change. Yeah. That's it. I like the money sign there. I think the money sign is very helpful because people still buy this stuff. Like the reason they won't get rid of Chief Wahoo, which is mm -hmm. completely indefensible, is because they can still sell stuff with it. They can say they're going to de-emphasize it, but then they're just going to set money on fire. So, yeah, I just thought it was the exact same thing, and I, I could see the value in the design. So I was like, hey, we might as well give this a run. Some news that just popped up. Bamani Jones's ESPN contract is not expected to be renewed, reports front office sports. This comes off the heels of Bamani Jones's game theory on HBO or Max not being renewed as well, though they would have been on hiatus because of the writer's strike. Now, as I am seeing this, ESPN, according to Front Office Sports, will be letting Bamani Jones walk. Now, as for full transparency, I have been a huge fan of Bamani Jones for a while. I think what he brings to a broadcast really cannot be replicated at all. Some can only hope to have the in-depth knowledge, the takes, the analysis that he provides all into one segment where it is funny, smart, opinionated, and it's not even brash. It is well done overall. And ESPN letting him go is indicative of potentially where they are going, but also that if Bamani Jones wants to go fully independent, he can do it because that is the sort of knowledge that he provides. And the opinions he gives is really just really, really awesome. I'm surprised to see this. But here's what Front Office Sports is saying. Jones started writing for ESPN in 2004, notably a co-host for two ESPN shows, Highly Questionable with Dan Lebitard and then also the Dan Lebitard Show. Streaming can only, to me, become profitable if there are fewer players in the game. We just have so much stuff, Jones said. There's money being made on streaming. There just is a lot of money being spent on streaming that doesn't necessarily generate the returns that one would expect. That is a fair point. Because as we have seen in the last month, few weeks, ESPN offloaded a ton of contracts, including Keyshawn Johnson, Susie Kolber, Steve Young, Max Kellerman, Todd McShay, and many, many others. Because Bob Iger, when he came back to Disney, said that they were going to slash $5.5 billion to save that money. The timing was obviously bad though it is not an A to B of those people being let go and them offering Pat McAfee about $75 million. But still, as I see this from front office sports, I am really taken aback by all of this. The right time with Monty Jones was fantastic. Every time he appeared on a show, it was always very, very quality. So I'm rooting for him. I look forward to his next chapter. Because whatever he does, his star will continue to outshine many, if not most, in the industry.